Next will be the concept of demand curves. Uh, demand curve is a relation between the price of a certain kind of good and its quantity. Okay, so if we are seeing price of good X, we are referring the price of good X and the quantity of good X. So demand function is the relation between price and optimal ve optimal number of keep of X. So here, okay, uh, we assume the Hexian demand curves, Hexian demand function. So if price of X decrease, well, you can see that the budget line will rotate to the to the right. Then you draw a new indifference curve. Okay, you can you can see that when the price is lower, price is lower, then the optimal X increase. So here you show the re negative relation between price and the quantity. Okay, so this is how we derive a downward sloping, how we derive the demand curves. Assume this is not a given goods. Okay. <clears throat> so given the Hexian demand curves, we can see um, two changes in the demand functions. Okay. So in your uh, maybe introduction of econ, okay, you know you know that when price of X change. So this is represented by a movement along the demand curves. Say here if the price of X increase, how to represent a diagram? So this is just movement along the demand curves because the demand curve shows the P and X relations. So any change in either one variables will lead to movement along the curves. And if other goods, okay, P minus X means not a good X, non-good X. If the price changes or income changes, okay, so this will lead to various demand for X changed, but the price of X unchanged, so we capture this by a shift of the demand curve, either leftward shift or rightward shift. Okay. So only the price of X change relates to movement along the demand curve. If factors other than price of X change, this will lead to shift of the demand curve. Okay. So these are Marshallian demand curve we are referring. So next we will talk about the Hexian demand curve. Okay, Hexian demand functions, we can also say that we, it is also called the compensated demand functions. So what's special is that in Hexian demand functions, we keep the income constant. So meaning that we ignore the income effect. So in this example, if price of X increase okay so we don't look at the money price we look at the relative price if price of x increase that means price of y decrease therefore the budget line will be steeper in this sense okay then you can see that x1 decrease to x2 so if price of x further decrease then you draw an even steeper budget line, okay, and go to X3. The most important thing is that you need to keep the utility constant, okay. So Hexian demand function just focus on the substitution effect. And again here you can show that when price of X increase, the demand for X1, X2, X3 decrease. Okay, again you can derive a downward sloping demand function. So how to calculate the Hexian demand function mathematically? Okay, so to calculate the Hexian demand function, you just need to start from the expenditure function, which is a function of P, X, P, Y, and U 
in the two case in the two good case so you partial e partial px you get the so-called compensated demand curves that is the hexian demand curves which is a function of px p y and u okay because utility is unchanging okay so the this the partial partial e partial u will be zero here okay so, so that's how you derive the hexian demand functions so okay so if this is the normal goods this will be steeper the slope will be steeper than the Marshallian demand function because for the Hexian demand curves we ignore the income effect so if this is normal good the positive income effect will make release the Marshallian demand curve to be flatter okay and also for Hexian demand curves since we just consider the, the substitution effect so it should it is always downward sloping so if you are not convinced try to try to consider this round xz round px okay so this is equal to round so xz is actually round e round px so we put we have shown in the previous equation so i changed the x compensated demand curve to be the round e round px then i keep the denominator okay then this is round 2e round px square in our last videos the utility maximization and choice we show that the expenditure function is concave okay so we know that the second order is negative so it also implies that round c round xc round px is negative so this is the negative relation between price and quantity so that's why Hexian demand function is a downward sloping demand curve. Okay. Next, we will use the mathematical way to derive the substitution effect income effect. So this is the hex, uh, Hexian demand function. So Hexian demand function is a function of px, py, and u. And at the utility max maximizing point, it is equal to the Marshallian demand functions okay so we, you can see that so this is at the equilibrium the utility maximizing equilibrium the hexian demand is equal to the Marshallian demand so if I do this rank XZ rank PX what I will get is rank X rank PX plus rank X rank E rank E rank PX okay so this is just the expansion of the total derivatives total differential okay then rearrange it we can see that round x round px is equal to round x the compensated demand curve round px <coughs> minus round x round e times round e round px okay so this is the substitution effect because round xz round px so this is the Hexian demand curve holding the utility constant. Therefore, this is the substitution effect. Substitution effect just consider the change in price rather than the change in the utility. Here is the income effect. As the expenditure is, is equal to the income. Okay. So, rank XC, rank PX is in fact equal to rank X, rank PX given U is constant. So after that, an economist called Slutsky tried to decompose this result. So the total effect of change in Px on X is equal to round X round Px, in which U is a constant, minus X and partial X partial I. So this is the this is what we call the Slutsky equation. So this x here is just derived by 
run E run PX, and the re remaining part just change the expenditure into the income. Okay, so again, this is the substitution effect. This is the income effect. So this is how you use the mathematics to decompose the substitution effect and income effect in the demand function.